show. Derina is the name. And of course, I'm saying the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me, Baba God. Oh, this is not the Bible, sorry. Okay, so my relationship with Goldie, yes. First off, the first story that I heard was that I introduced Goldie to not only hard drugs, narcotics safe, that led her to her, you know, untimely death. That is a blatant lie. I have never smoked anything in my life. I have never. I don't even know how to smoke. Somebody once gave me um, this... Um, Electronic cigar. I didn't even know where to puff it from. Yeah, okay. Just that's out of the now. Goldie and I, as good friends as we were, the only thing Goldie ever took, and I'll say this now, God bless her soul. Because if I lie, she go give me spiritual slap for nights. Goldie only drank white wine. It was even because of Goldie I started drinking white wine. And that's why to date, maybe when I'm going for shows, I have it backstage. And yes, Goldie will buy white wine. So oh, yeah, sit down, let's gist. Anything for the girls, I will now laugh. Goldie never sniffed anything. She never smoked. It was only white wine. And as God will have it, the night she passed on, on Valentine's Day, I had stocked her fridge with white wine because I was supposed to travel to Asaba for a, a funeral the following day. And then she just came in. And, you know, they said, oh, that um, long story cut short. They said I had a hand in her death. Her family was going to send police after me. Thank God that her younger brother, their last born, was in the house that day. And I think he and um, he and Goldie had a bit of a situation. So when she came, I said, so like, ah, what are you doing here? I, mean, I didn't know you were here. Because she thought I was the only one in the house. And when he came, he was even surprised to see me. I was like, oh, I'm traveling that, you know, um, go. I had to do something for her. So, And if she, he wasn't there, uh, the next day, they started saying, oh, how could, why, why, why wouldn't Goldie die? When he's useless, um, um, use, uh, yes, Jerry, who's like the most useless person alive was there. Everything that could go wrong that day went wrong. It was Valentine's Day. There was so much traffic. We couldn't find the car keys. It, it was just it was just one of those days where, you know, I'm still replaying it in my head. And to everybody who said, oh, I went around calling people about Goldie's death, I anybody who was at the hospital that day did not even recognize me. Because I was wearing a tank top, I was wearing track, and I was wearing socks. And my hair was tied in a bun like this. Because I was in the house. I didn't even shower that day. So I was like, mm, the next day I go back, Jerry, since I did travel. So we left the house like that. Now, which time? Me, that I'm very conscious about how I look. Of course, if I want to look mirror, the next thing is to carry phone now, Abby. So I left without any phone. So where did they get the phone that they said I called? But, you know, I mean, a lot of speculations. The media needed to make, you know, a huge story out of it. They needed to sell. And then I was in the middle of it all. So I guess it trashed me left, right, center. I didn't have a hand in Goldie's death. I never gave Goldie drugs. We were good friends. It's very hard to have friends in the industry, same industry as you are, I know, because everybody's competing with the next person or we're all in some sort of competition. Me, I'm not in competition with anybody. Goldie was my friend. Take it or take it. And I would just tell people, always be there for your friends. Ha! Oriana, I did not do anything to her. Otherwise, she forgot to chase me now for a drink. I, for, I don't feel they sleep now. Would I even still be looking fresh like this? Ah, ah, hey. Okay, now it's the shocky dance that, you know, puts the hair. Yeah, and my name is still Jerry Lee. And of course, you know how it is, fabrications, untruthful statements, untruthful statements. Yeah, all of the, 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 the everything, we have opened it right now. And we've signed, sealed, and delivered the matter. Message to all my people out there. I don't like to think I have fans. I love to call them family because, you know, I have people hit me up on social media all the time. And everybody's always, people stop me. And it's wonderful to know that, okay, let me use the word fans. My fan base, they're not just, I used to think they were just like our age category. But I have kids. Oh my God, what could they be? I'm like, oh. And then even old people, like when I go for weddings and, you know, events, and then elderly people come to me. They may me. Oh, me marry me. So, I mean, it's it's overwhelming. It's it's a wonderful feeling. It's unexplainable how great a feeling is to have, you know, you guys appreciate me all the time. You know, good or bad, I take it. You just do it. I will take it. Good publicity is good publicity. Bad publicity is good publicity. No publicity at all is bad publicity. If nobody's talking your talk, they don't acknowledge your existence. My people, you think they talk my talk, you know, they talk and they go, you understand me? They talk and talk and talk. And. You know what they say? I don't read the news. I make the news. Hey. <laughs> okay, to all of my fans out there, to everybody following me on every social media, to people who call me all the time, even at midnight, say, midnight callers. <laughs> When will you people stop? To everyone, I just want to say a huge thank you. Thank you for helping my career. And thank you for not falling my breasts. And thank you for keeping me in the industry. And of course, 
maintaining my relevance and consistency. Watch out! Yeah! Thank Take you. it away.